Hey, it's Dialis. Today I have an interesting video for you today. It is not an unboxing. It is actually a look at a very retro Barbie item. So this is the Mountain Ski Cabin. This is from the 70s. It's a little vinyl play set. So this is well before my time. Um, my childhood Barbie was 90s Barbie. But my mom loved thrift shopping, loved going to garage sales, and she definitely bought this for me as a kid from one of those places. It even has the price of $1.91 on there, so a little less than two bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal compared to what it was when it needed to be purchased at, in the 70s when it came out. But yeah, so it's really cool. I did play with this as a child. When I was a child, it was totally retro and weird to me too. But you know, I liked playing with older stuff. I thought it was cool. So anyway, my mom dug this out of the basement for me. It's so awesome. Look at how 70s it is. It's got all these fold out things. Now the thing is, it's really gross. It's super dirty. It smells musty like a basement. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need to clean this thing before we use it. So for this video, um, we're gonna do some cleaning. I'm going to wipe this down and then we'll do some photo shots with it too. I want to give you a close-up view of all the things um, that are in there and all the fun little surprises. So let's go with this awesome retro look back at old Barbie stuff. I'm so excited to do this and talk to you about this too in the history of this piece. Let's go! So I don't know exactly what we'll need to clean this up, but here's what I'm going to try and use. I'm going to use um, some baby wipes. These have kind of dried out, so I'll have to um, rehydrate them a little bit. So you have a little tiny bowl of water, um, some paper towel, cotton balls, Q-tips to kind of get in the little nooks and crannies, um, and then one of those Mr. Clean Magic sponges. I don't know if there's a really gross spot that I need to kind of scrub a little bit. So let's try and see what we can do with all this. Okay, here is the place the ski cabin and I'm gonna clean it up as you can see it's really disgusting like there's just filthy brown everywhere it feels super grimy um, just nasty it's been in a basement for a long time and it's really old so I'm gonna do my best to clean it up first I'm just going to uh, use a baby wipe to kind of clean off the grime from the outside and see how well it does that um, these baby wipes are dried out so I'm just gonna get them wet for a minute and I'm not getting it really wet, just damp, because I don't want to get this material wet. It's vinyl with cardboard inside, as far as I can tell. So I definitely don't want to get it real wet. But I know so much dirt is going to come off of this. It's going to be absolutely freaking disgusting. Wow, you can already see it looking so much better. Oh my gosh. Oh, gross. That's so dirty. Oh my god. Wow, this is even dirtier than I thought. I knew it felt yucky, but look right here. You can see this side here has been cleaned and this side hasn't. It's so grimy looking. Wow, I can't believe like what a major transformation it is this quick. I didn't really expect these baby wipes to be this effective. So awesome. Um, I'm just going to keep on going. And yeah, I'm so excited. This is working so well. You can cut the baby wipes in half if it's easier to use them that way and you get a little more bang for your buck because then you can hold them more flat than what I did in the wad that way. Um, we'll still use them in the same way, but maybe they'll last a little longer. Okay, I've cleaned every surface with baby wipes on the outside. It feels a lot cleaner. It looks a lot cleaner. It went from brown to white. Um, there's still a lot of discolored areas, but that's okay. Um, I'm just happy it's not all grimy and gross anymore. So the amount of um, like stuff I use here is gross. Uh, it's so dirty, so brown, gray, yuck. 
Um, but anyway, so now we have to clean the inside. So let's push this trash into the trash and start with the inside. A different angle here that we've seen before. Um, so you can see the orange wall and the green curtains there. Um, and we're going to open this up and see what's inside and then clean it even though I know it's going to be so gross. Okay, so here you can see it in all its glory. Um, so it's just folded out into a square. Um, and then it has a lot of little cubbies and stuff. Um, some bunk beds, a table, um, and you can see it's just so retro looking, like, uh, <laughs> you know, the posters, the window, everything in this kitchen, or not kitchen, but fireplace here, there's little cupboards, uh, you could easily put a Barbie there um, to store, since it's also sort of a carrying case, and I guess you could put things in there too to carry for your Barbie. Um, so yeah, this is the ski cabin. Look at it. It's great. Um, once we get this thing clean, then we'll, I'll show you some Barbies inside of it. But yeah, it's super gross. Um, there's some really bad stains on it. So this time I just pre-moistened the baby wipes here so it would be easier. I didn't have to dip them in water every time. All right, here we go. I know it's going to be gross. It smells kind of like musty, like a basement. Ew. Yeah, getting, getting a decent amount of dirt off of it. And all those little nooks and crannies underneath here. I don't even know how I'm going to wipe those down. Let's get that disgusting uh, stain on the carpet. See if we can get that off. Ew. Grow. I don't even know what that is. I wish I was wearing gloves. Nasty. So freaking disgusting. All right, it's pretty much done. I mean, it needs another wipe down, but it's got all the stain off. I'm gonna flip it this way. And then try and clean this. By the way, I found this little notebook um, stuck back here, little composition notebook. Uh, so that's pretty cute. I don't think it originally went with this, but I don't know. It's kind of funny to find it in there. It'll definitely be in the photo shoot. Okay, let's try and clean it a little more detailed um, than we did. And I do have to clean in those nasty little cupboards. They're really not that dirty inside, surprisingly. I thought they were going to be like, you know, but I guess because they were kind of shut, maybe the dirt didn't really get in there. And you definitely want to dry things off because you don't want them to get moldy, especially something like this that's musty, that's been in the basement. You don't want to like encourage anything gross growing like that. And honestly, setting it outside in the sun for a little bit, just a little bit, um, would probably help too because it'll kind of, um, you know, refresh it air-wise. Okay, let's go more in depth with the uh, fireplace here. Uh, kind of gross. And here we can take a little pause and look at the ski cabin when it came out. So uh, what I was able to find out is that it came out in 1972 and it was re released until 1974 and it was exclusive to Sears. Here is an advertisement from the Sears mail order catalog and we can see it's Barbie's Mountain Ski Cabin, $7.49. Open up this super carry case and presto, it's a cozy mountain cabin. There are bunk beds, a pretend fireplace, sleeping bags, table, chairs, barbecue, and utensils. Sturdy vinyl case is 27 by 16 by 13 inches high. Folds up for storage or travel. Stores one doll, not included. For ages 5 to 12, so easy to buy when you just use the phone. I think that last sentence is funny, uh, Sears trying to get everyone to use their mail order catalogs. 
Anyway, so I don't have any of the extra bits here, um, but it did come with some things. Uh, I found some online pictures of some of the sleeping bags and uh, the chairs, um, but it seems like there were probably some kind of barbecue and maybe pots and pans. I'm not sure what utensils is. Um, but you see a lot of them online that come with random junk because sets got mixed up, you know, kids played with different things. You can see in the ad something that we still see today is the prototype looks nothing like the final product. So the prototype for this is probably hand painted, probably on cardboard. And so you see the trees, the window looks different, um, the fireplace is different, the cabinets are different. And so just like I did on my Malibu Barbie video, I did uh, use the inflation calculator. And today, $7.49 would be about $54.67. So this is a pretty pricey item. It's a lot more than the $1.91 um, that it was marked on sale at. And as for what they sell uh, on eBay here, I have a couple examples of sold items. So you can see most of these are selling for, I would say they average around 40 bucks or so. Um, they're in varying condition. Some come with stuff, some don't. But yeah, I would say the going rate is about $40 for this ski cabin. Okay, let's get back to some cleaning. Okay, now let's look at the flip side. Very dirty. Very, very dirty and gross looking. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. There's these lines here that look like tape. Maybe it was used to um, tape the floor here to the ground um, so it st stayed in place. Uh, so yeah, you can see the line here and here and faintly there. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, maybe something someone did with this a while ago. So uh, since I have the magic sponge here, I thought I would try this and see if it can um, kind of whiten this up a little bit since I do see still a lot of brown, yellowy spots. Obviously it's not a big deal. This is on the ground. Uh, no one's really going to see it. But I kind of want to just test this out and see if it works. Oh yeah, that's working really well. See? Well, I don't know if the camera's picking it up all that well, but you can I can definitely see the difference. It's getting rid of that um, yellowy line that looked like tape. Ew, look at how gross it is. Yucky. Wow, that was awesome. It got up so much of it. The sponge is so gross. This is why I split them into little pieces. I cut them up. It works great. This is the disgusting amount of baby wipes and paper towel that I use to clean um, the inside of the cabin. And that doesn't even include the ones I showed you for the outside of the cabin. So yeah, it's really freaking disgusting. So this is the ski cabin all cleaned up. Um, it looks pretty cool. This table doesn't want to stay up all that well because this cardboard is kind of bent. And then I put that little notebook in here that we found. Um, yeah, uh, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, let's get some Barbies to go in here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for chairs because I legitimately don't have any chairs. But we'll figure something out. They'll use the beds. Okay, here it is all staged up. So I have um, PJ and Francie, the male blue versions, both on Francie bodies here at the ski cabin. I didn't have a lot of items, but I tried to do my best. So we've got a Bradzilla scarf and a Bradzilla bag, um, some Monster High cupcakes, the guitar is Barbie. Um, let's see, so Malibu Francie's got a Blythe sweater vest, an AliExpress Blythe shirt, and those pants are from a spirit, like a horse movie doll. Those shoes, no clue. This is just a really old scarf there. And then a bunch of this is AliExpress, like those pink boots, those pink shoes, um, and the pink uh, shorts here. That top I made, the little peasant top thing, it's a little big on her. I just think this looks so cool. Um, I love uh, the little setup they've got here. I don't have a lot of items that suit it very well, but I think I did pretty good. Um, too bad that, that table doesn't stand up better, but 
Oh, well, no big deal. I just love it. It's so fun to play with this little cabin. It has been fun and also disgusting making this video. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. I like doing this retro item and even cleaning it up uh, was fun and uh, satisfying in the end, right? Because now it's nice and neat. Hope you really enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe if you like this content and you want more because I have doll, video, doll, videos, doll videos coming out every week.